and welcome back to What If, a new What If, uh, that I was going to start yesterday, but uh, some things, uh, again, things always seem to come up, plus, I'll admit, obviously, the What, is, the what If is What If Frieza was slash turn good. I'm not really going to do both of those, um, I'm just going to combine it into What If Frieza turn good, because <clears throat> really, quite frankly, the, and this is the only, Alexander uh, Whittington. You're surprisingly the only one I could find in the book that gave me the suggestion. I, I feel like other people did, but you're the only one I could find. And I, I delayed it to today because I'm like, this this one is a little tricky because how am I going to do this without making it just seem like a cop-off? Like, Frieza just saw saying, Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. Why don't we get lattes and talk about how I should reform myself? Or, you know, just someone wishing him good with the Dragon Balls. Or... <clears throat> Or him just realizing the error of his ways. Oh, I've been a fool this whole time. Why? Oh, woe is me. Uh, please forgive me. I'll make you cookies. No, um, so... I had to figure out a way where Frieza could turn good. And, let's be clear... Frieza's not a good character. At the best, best, he's an anti-hero who will... On, if, as long as it's benefiting his own needs, will do the right thing. Hence uh, the tournament of power. Uh, he did the right thing because it benefited him. He was going to die and he was getting his life back. So, <clears throat> so the question becomes that if we're going in the route of a good Frieza, how the hell are we getting there? Well, first off, we have to figure out where it starts from. What's the pinpoint in the timeline that diverges into Frieza turning good? And I think it happens on Namek. Now, what happens on Namek? Eventually, everything goes to everything goes. Safe. We get to the point in the fight with Goku and uh, Frieza, where <coughs> uh, you know he tries to cut Goku in half, and he gets cut in half. And Goku's just like, Ugh, "You did this to yourself." So like, oh, please, I said, please help me. I, I'm, I am, I'm sorry. Oh. Now, obviously, he's playing it up, but and then Goku's like, "Yeah, I'm giving you some of my own energy." So go ahead, dude. I don't care what you do with it. I'm going home. And then he also, but he also still goes in the lines like, D "Do what you will with it. Go li live out the rest of your days in peace and solitude, or or, or whatever you have. Just leave me, leave leave the innocents alone. They've done they've done nothing. I'm giving you a chance here, Frieza. Take it. I'm going home. And then he just you know flies it. And Frieza, in the original, obviously, he's like, "You the monkey!" Jump tries to attack him. You fool! But in this one, Frieza's considering it, but like he. This is something that just Frieza doesn't get. This is where I think the the weird uh, the switch flips for him. It's like, what? Why? Every time he's letting me go again, again. What? Why? And then Frieza actually says, Why? 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 Every time I could I could attack you right now. It's like you could. And like, why? Why do you keep letting me go? It's like, and he just look. Goku looks and is like. I don't. I try to. I try to find the good in Frieza people. Uh, people Frieza, even someone as de evil as you. I can't believe there's not some spark of humanity in there. Maybe you can find it one day. Maybe you can learn. Maybe you can understand what it means to actually be a good person. If not, then you, that if you find me again, we'll uh, we'll settle this once and for all. But take this opportunity to learn from Fr Frieza. And try to reflect on what you've done. Reflect on your. <sighs> And Frieza just kind of, at this point, just like, he doesn't get it. He doesn't understand. Why? Why? I don't understand. And basically, you know, Goku's now at this point, because like, he let me live. How dare he embarrass me? But why? And he just can't figure it out. And now it's like, but still, he realizes, like, I'm still missing my arm and my lower body. I should probably get the F out of here. So he still goes to his ship and, you know, eventually manages to get out of there. <coughs> Goku manages to get out of Namek. He's fine. And, I mean, he still makes it the Yard Rat, obviously. Uh, so that goes the same. But meanwhile, Frieza ends up going back to one of his bases. They never say, Lord Frieza! It's like, get me a new body now! And then basically, you know, they work on it. Now, it'll still be that ramshackled uh, bunch of, like, you know, tech that he had originally. Minus the fact that he's still got, like, the ch his entire head... Um, he's not, he's not in as bad as condition, which isn't saying that much, um, as he was originally, but he's still in pretty bad shape. 
But still, he's got the lower part, he's got the arm, but ultimately, he's still got his entire head, so I still get to keep my dashing good looks. So now that Frieza's taken care of, and, you know, King Cold eventually comes to visit, and he just sees Frieza there, sitting on his throne, just, Oh, hello, little poopsie. Oh, you look upset. Is there something wrong? <sighs> I'm, 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 I am angry, father. I, I, I can't understand these, the, the, what these people call kindness. The kindness? Where have you ever uh, uh, found such uh, meaningless things such as kindness, my little boy? It's like the Saiyan that did this to me. He showed me kindness. That's why I'm honestly alive right now. I don't get it! Hmm. <laughs> very, very odd. Should we chart a course to the Saiyan? Find the Saiyan if we can and show him. Show him what kindness means to us. And Frieza just contemplating, he's like, yes, I want answers, Daddy, and I think we should go to this Earth and get some. So, here's the problem here, is that it took them a while, of, we don't know how long it took in the fire freezer, but it probably took a little bit, uh, and then they had to fix them up and all that. For they've got a bit of an advantage here now, uh, they probably got some time advantages for getting to Earth. Uh, versus Goku getting there. Now, that being said, King Kai probably can Goku! Goku! Go <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get that voice down a bit more. Goku! Uh, it's Frieza! He's going to Earth! With his father's like, oh, man! And so Goku... At that point, I think Goku pretty much has the instant transmission down, more or less. So he's still fine. Gets in the Saiyan pod and, you know, flies the hell out of there. Uh, so eventually, you know, Frieza shows up. He's like, so this is Earth. Um, hmm. Now, Frieza's actual goal isn't necessarily to, you know, kill the planet or Goku and his friends. He is, he's, he, this, no one has honestly shown him kindness. Like, he, he's gotten everything he's wanted, but that wasn't out of kindness. That was out of power, family, loyalty, and responsibility. <clears throat> so he's definitely, is a actual kind. So he wants to understand this bizarre thing. And so while his father's, uh, you know, planning to do this and that, he's more just, you know, trying to, uh, he wants just answers, and, free, and you know, Trunk shows up there, so, you must be Frieza, and it's like, who are, who are you, it's like, uh, you're not gonna, you don't need to know that, and then, obviously, Trunks comes in, you know, or slices up the man, like, eh, and it's like, oh, well, uh, wait, the, 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 those eyes, they have the same eyes, <sighs> <clears throat> or if I go the old school freezer, it's, their eyes, they have the same eyes, you know, uh, so, like, do, do you know that bastard Goku? I have questions for him. Oh, pl please, I, well, afraid, uh, my little prince, uh, my little boy, are you afraid of this monkey? Uh, it's like, and then even freeze, even tries like, look. I, I'm just here to kill you. Is that all right? It's like, no, no, you, uh, I, I'm not here to fight. I, I, I just want answers. Like, and now King Cole just looking completely incredulous. Like, what do you mean you're not here to fight? We came here to kill them. We came here to blow up this planet and kill his friends in front of them. Don't you remember? I, I know, Daddy, and we will. But I just need to talk to him. I need to talk to someone about the conflicting emotions in me. As, uh, and even Trunks like, um, this isn't really what I was expecting, but whatever. Uh, guess I can, you know, uh, guess I can end this. Very well. Uh, uh, where have I failed? Is my raising? Mo if your mother were here, if your mother was still alive, she'd know what to do. Too bad I killed her. Uh, so, and then basically, you know, oh, I guess I'll have to deal with it myself, my little boy. And then, you know, King Cold steps up. He's like, uh, sure. And then, you know, he kills King Cold. He's like, ah, father! Uh, who, who am I kidding? I never liked him that much anyway. Uh, now, um, now, Frieza is just in a weird position. Like, he clearly knows that if this guy is anywhere near as strong as Goku was, he probably can't beat him in a fight. Even with his enhancements, he can't beat him. <coughs> I actually wouldn't be surprised if Frieza, kind of like with Vegeta, figured out how to learn, uh, learned actually how to sense energy from his little excursion with Goku. And he can figure out, uh, sense Trunks' power level, and even compared to his own, he's like, I know I can't beat you. I know I can't beat you in a fight. I just, uh, uh, I, I need, I need answers. I need to talk to that blasted ape. Uh, uh, get me Goku. Goku, the Saiyan, the Saiyan, Goku. It's like, uh, 
okay, you're you're seriously not what I was expecting. Uh, and then all of a sudden, boop, Goku actually sensing this whole thing. He's like, oh, hold on, uh, hi there. Um, can, uh, oh, you're, you're you're there. Um, um, hello. How did you do that? Oh, my new technique is the transmission. Anyway, what are you doing here, Frieza? I gave you a chance. To, uh, your chance. I I know, and I, I I have questions about that. What 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 is why why did you do it? And then he everyone shows up. I was like, Frieza. It's like oh, oh not this. And see, unlike Goku, he in trunks he knows he can beat Vegeta. So like, and then Vegeta, like, I got you. It's a poof poof. Oh, it's like. Um, so, anyway, uh, back to what we were saying. Ah, I got you now! It's, could, could you ask him to stop, please? I, I, I'm, I'm actually trying to have a legitimate conversation. It's like, um, yeah, Vegeta, could, could you not do that? Uh, that what? You're, you're negotiating with him now, Kakarot? Um, yeah, Goku, seriously, what's going on here? I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Why are you here for this? I, I don't understand this emotion. This thing you folks call kindness. Why? Why did you spare my life? No one's ever done anything like that for me before. Oh, I mean, I told you before, I try to see the good in people. I have murdered literally trillions of people, all in the name of my own amusement and profit. You believe there's any good in me? It's like, well, you're here and you're not actually causing trouble. You're, you yourself aren't causing trouble. Ah! <laughs> it's just kind of like... That, 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 that's not, that doesn't mean good. That just uh, doesn't mean I'm good. That just means I'm not doing anything at the moment. It's like, well, do you plan to? I don't know. <laughs> Freeze is just like having a... This is the most surreal conversation Freeze has ever had in his life. I just... I don't understand. Why do you people... Why are you people, guy? What do you get out of your kindness? How does it benefit you? It's like, well... You know, it, make, it does. It makes you feel good to do stuff for others. You can make friends. You can <laughs> go with like, friends. Self fulfillment. I, I am that. I am so lost right now. Um, I mean, I don't know. Have you ever tried doing anything good for anyone? Um, well, I um, I, there was this one. No, no, blew up. Um, well, about the other. No, blew the planet up. Um. Well, there was this one time where... Oh, wait, no, I killed... I shot a hole through Vegeta's chest. Um, no, I I don't believe I have. Well, they try going out and doing things that... They try being nice to people for a change. Try being nice. I... I... I it's like, uh... I don't know. I was like, well, uh, I'm not... Clearly not going to do it here. It's like, oh, that's for... It's like, oh, yeah, that's for certain. Yeah, definitely. No doubt about it. Uh, well, I guess I'll try it, being nice. Um, anyway, um, sorry for bothering you. Goodbye. And it just goes up and Frieza does his own thing. Now, Frieza will be gone probably for a while. I'll be, I'll admit that. But Frieza will be off having his own little adventures. Uh, trying to, like, actually do good. Uh, okay, so, and he's just so kind. How do I kind um and so you know he just you know he at one he's maybe sitting at a like a like at a restaurant at one point on like a planet and he's still in charge of his empire he's like, lord frieza what are we doing here and he's like i don't know yet man you just stand guard um, thank you for your service soldier uh th thank you lord frieza like, you're welcome huh my lips are all tingly <laughs> so, you know, he sits down at a restaurant and, you know, maybe he gets, gets some food or something like that. Because he can still eat. He's, he clearly has enough of his bile up that he, and he also needs to power his biological food. Kind of like Robocop. He still needs to eat something. <coughs> and, you know, he's, you know, he eats his food and obviously he could get it for free, but he tries to actually pay his tab or whatever. And it's like, man, I paid my tab like normal people do, but yeah. Whatever, the, uh, damn it! I don't need to eat as much now with all this mechanical, uh, mechanical nature in me. And then he just sees something of you know, homeless, homeless kids on the street, and just, yeah, oh dear, feel the urgence. Ugh. Oh, but they don't have a father or a mother, just like me. Oh dear, they like me. No, <laughs> obviously it's not that simple. But it's like mm, he's just suddenly seeing, like, realizing that you know he still has his leftovers and like, it's a weird, it's a weird concept. Like Freeze just having leftovers going back to his ship, but he just sees him. Hmm. Kind. Think kind. Um, 
you little urchins. Um, in the way, they, they know it. They recognize at least the sea looks opposing. Just, uh, 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 um, uh, um, look, you look hungry. Um, here. I'm full. You can have the rest. Huh? Thank you, sir. And they actually had these, like, bright smiles. And it's just something that he's just not used to. It's like, eh, what are those faces they're making? I feel so awkward. Um, yo, welcome. It's like, yeah, and they eat. It's like, yeah. It's like, that was weirdly satisfying. I think I need a doctor. Ugh. So that, see, so for Freezer to turn good, it would be a very slow process. He's still a bit of a rap bastard. Like, he'll still go out and just beat the crap out of someone and even, like, blow or kill some people. But at the same time, like, at one point, I imagine he can, like, like he see, he, they're on a planet that he owns, and he sees, like, a bunch of marauders and stuff, like, or bandits, like, trying to, like, attack his own. Like, no, that's my, pro this is my property. You are not allowed here. Now, please go, or I will blow a hole to every one of your chests and heads in that order. And then, rah, and then just blast them all. And everyone then just goes, thank you, thank you, oh, thank you very much. Like, oh, um, oh, yeah, well, um, you're welcome. I, I didn't think I was actually helping people, but I suppose I did involuntarily. I'm feeling very awkward again. And I think he's been dealing with that for all. Like, anytime he actually did something legitimately good without realizing it, he just starts like, this is so weird. And yet I kind of like it. Later on down the road, he would be getting better, um, you know, upgrading his parts and things along those lines. So eventually, I think he'd get something that looks akin to his own body. Like, like or maybe like a meta cooler equivalent of his body. <coughs> you know, maybe he'd get a golden one. And that way, when he even, if he eventually hits Golden Frieza, he actually would, you know, look very much similar. And I actually like that concept. So yeah, like he eventually up upgrades things along those lines. And, uh, you know, he calls a big meeting of all his major forces. And she says, and this is like years down the road, like that we're in the Android cell saga, all that. Minions, I have, hello, my loyal co-workers. That, yes, yes, that, that is what you are. My loyal employees and co-workers. Um, I have an announcement to make. Even though we will be continuing the profiting of planets, selling and trading plants, we will be taking a bit more of a, a gentle approach, if you will. I've learned, and Frieza would realize like this would be a big step for everyone. Not that he couldn't take his entire forces. It's just it's like this would be a big step. So it's like uh, we, though though our though our history has been paid in blood, glorious battle and blood, I have recently come to uh, come to an understanding and a realization that perhaps there are other ways we can go about our lives. Maybe taking a bit of a softer touch. After all, none of us are getting any younger. And I think to retire, some of us would, in fact, like the idea of retirement. So, we would like to, I would like to propose a different method. Perhaps bargaining and negotiations. Not to say we wouldn't participate in some bloodshed now and then, but it should be for the right reason. After all, we after all can, we can only survive so much, and if we kill everyone, we won't be able to sell it to anyone. This is this is Frieza. So and he's oh okay um yeah yeah it's like, wonderful. So who wants cake? <laughs> and yes, I feel like this is, this would be kind of like Frieza now. It's like I'm still a bit of a rat bastard when it comes to like my own business and profiteering and stuff like that. But I am starting to see the benefits of being good. <clears throat> So, we move ahead a little bit to what I would imagine actually being not even the Boo Arc. The, um, I mean, like, this is beyond even the Boo Arc. Or beyond probably, like, the, uh, the Saiyan Arc. Or not the Boo Arc. The, um, we move past the Boo Arc and go to the Super Arc. Um, and the Frieza at this point uh, probably does have Golden Frieza. Does have that form. Goku only has Super Saiyan 3 at this point. But Frieza also, you know, hasn't had necessarily a reason to go to Earth. Um, because he just, he's actually been doing pretty well for himself. But, with the awakening of Beerus, that changes things up. Particularly for the fact that, um, remember, I was like, re I remind me to kill him. He's like, oh, no, he was the, he killed by a Saiyan. What, a Saiyan killed Frieza? Frieza's still alive here. So now like, he shows up, and there's a, ah, oh, Frieza, there you are. She shows up on the ship and say, like, hmm? And Frieza just gets that cold-ass chill running down his spine, like, oh, Fuck my life. Lord Beerus, um, how are you? 
It's been centuries, it's been decades. Um, what brings you to my humble abode? It's like, hmm. Uh, oh, you know, this, that, planning to kill you, that sort of thing. Well, well why, why? I, I did what you asked. I destroyed Planet Vegeta for you. Yes, you did. But I was, but you quite frankly are insufferable, uh, Frieza. Uh, and I'm, and I'm quite frankly sick of it. So I just decided to cut out the middleman and, and you, and you right here now. I hope you don't mind. I'm a busy, I'm a busy deity. Plus, I have to look for the Super Saiyan God after all. Su sweet Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God. Um, <laughs> and well, actually, it'd be more of one. Was but I, I've changed, Lord Beers. Really, I have. I'm not, I'm not the same individual I was all those decades ago. I actually, I've actually grown with the color conscience. It's very, it's a very strange concept. Okay, wait, you have a conscience now? What, you've been going around doing good? Well, I mean, not necessarily, like, like, superhero good, but I'm, I'm not blowing up as many planets. I'm actually hearing people out when they say their problems and not killing them afterwards. I feel like I've turned quite a leaf. Of, and <laughs> Weezy chimes in, it's like, he does have a point, Lord Beers. He has actually been doing quite, no, not a bad job at all, all things considered. Wait, Weez, you're not, you're not serious. Let me see that. And sure, I was like, my God, you actually gave the homeless children food? It's like, I know, that was, that was a first for me. That, that was really weird, but oddly satisfying. You know, this good thing they talk about isn't that bad. <laughs> So, and that'd be the thing, he'd still be a sarcastic prick, I imagine, but if Frieza really did kind of try and wanted to be, he probably could be one of the best guys in the universe if he really wanted. Um, by the way, you'll notice the thumbnail, I used that in that scene where, like, he was smiling or he came back in Resurrection F, because that, that, to me, is, like, the perfect image of good Frieza. It's like, uh, so tell me, if you want to do good, then tell me, Frieza, and just gets right in front of him. Oh. Where can I find a Super Saiyan God? Um, a Super Saiyan God? I mean, I know how to find Super Saiyans. I know where they all live. They all live on Earth now. But I, I couldn't tell you a Super Saiyan God. Ah, Earth. So that's where the Saiyans are. Yes, Lord Beers. Oh, uh, well, why don't we try that? Why don't we uh, take a trip there? Now, Goku actually would still be on King Kai's plan at this point. So he obviously, uh, Beers goes to Earth. It's like, oh, bother. <laughs> it's like, I can't. And he's just trying to copy. Damn it! Uh, they, they, they're going to tell them they brought him there. And, oh, this is... Oh, damn it all! I was doing so well these past ten years, too. Oh, bless it all. Now I'm going to have those Saiyans breathing down my neck again. Uh, there's no way I can beat Freeze at uh, Lord Beers to, uh, the Earth along, as long as he has that angel attended. Wait, maybe I could distract him with some food. Yes, that, that's in and he's gone. Damn. Uh, so, uh, for, uh, Freeze... Oh, excuse me. Beerus gets there. That does go about the same, except they do mention it. Wait, Frieza told you where they are? Yes, he's actually quite different than I remember him. Seems kind of twitchy. If I, uh, if, how would you describe it? A little twitchy, my lord. Yes, twitchy. Uh, so anyway, and then obviously that debacle goes down. Goku shows up, gets his butt kicked. Ultimately, though, Frieza does show up. And then it's like, Freeze! It's like, um, yes, um, I'm sorry about the confusion. Um, I didn't mean to, uh, I wanted to extend my apologies. It's like, wait, you're, you're apologizing? Yes, I, I didn't mean to send him here. He just asked about Super Saiyans and gods and stuff. And I just mentioned you all lived on Earth. And then I realized I'm a snake, and here we are. And even Vegeta's just like, uh, you're... Different than normal. Uh, yes, I've actually quite changed a bit, actually. You're still profiteering from plants? Well, well, yes, that is the family business. But I've, I've been doing it in a much more uh, hum humane, 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 humane way. Uh, so, is it, uh, is it, oh, so you're not as busy. No, no, I'm not, 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 not at the least. I mean, <laughs> Goku is like, you still kind of seem like a bit of a jerk. Oh, I mean, you could seem like a jerk to the right person, too. Yeah, that's a good point. Isn't that right, Goku? Piccolo. Yeah. <coughs> totally. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so eventually they work out the Super Saiyan God. That thing goes down. Now, here's the thing. Resurrection F doesn't really happen. I mean, you could make the argument that's not Resurrection F. It's Resurrection C, that the remnants of the Freeze Force are still very much the Freeze of Force go off to Earth to get their Dragon Balls to bring King Cold back. In fact, yes, actually. I think that's what we can, we can do. 
But we're at the 24-minute mark, so Resurrection F turns into Resurrection C. Join us on the next part where we talk about that. Till then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put the comments below less and we'll get to a review events. Ooh, excuse me, at some point. Uh, the week of what if starts tomorrow, so keep your eyes out for that. And I got a who would win tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later, folks.